Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. This is for the hams and shortwave listeners out there that might like to try something new that they haven't tried before. Maybe some of you have, but it's kind of fun to play around with for a little while. And it's called Navigational Telex, or Navtex. Now this is an automated service by the Coast Guard to put out uh, warnings and forecasts to ships. So let's go over to uh, my other radio here that's interfaced with my computer and see what's going on. Now you need to have your receiver audio interface to your computer uh, through the sound card or an external sound card. I'm using a Signalink USB. That's another topic though. You want to tune to 517 kilohertz in upper sideband mode. If you have an interest, there's a lot of information by searching Navtex on your computer. More than I'm going to go into on this video. The Navtex transmissions are on 518 kilohertz. I tuned to 517 in upper sideband mode for my decoding software. You can see the waterfall display uh, displaying the signal I'm receiving, and it is printing out uh, and decoding. Keep out west lines 15 to 25. Katie sees 6 to 9 feet. Saturday. This program has an automated voice I can turn on and off. It might be good for sight impaired. It doesn't uh, do too well with all the abbreviations in this mode, though, so most of the time I don't use that. I will turn that back off. The program I'm using here is called Multi PSK. It works well for me, and I select the Amptor FEC Navtex mode. You can see the waterfall display showing the signals quite strong right now, so it's decoding quite well. There's other software out there you can use too, such as uh, FL Digi. Uh, this one here just seems to work good in this mode for me. If you don't hear a signal on the air right away, you might have to listen in for a while because they transmit in different time slots, so they're not all transmitting at the same time. They kind of take turns. So you might uh, hear a strong station, and then it might be a while. You might hear a weak station later. So you have to have a little bit of patience. I just happened to catch the stronger station, so it's decoding quite well, as you can see. This is uh, more of a nighttime band. In the evenings, uh, if you don't have a lot of static or local noise, you can hear signals out several hundred miles. In the daytime, uh, you probably won't hear much farther than about 100 miles away from you. And as you might know, this frequency is just below the AM broadcast band, standard uh, radio broadcast band, so it behaves a lot like that. As you know, in the evenings you can hear a lot farther out. And the antenna is also important. Uh, too much to go into in this short video, but uh, you do want to have an antenna that will receive below the AM broadcast band, of course. And not all radios will cover this frequency range either, but most of your more modern HF rigs and shortwave receivers do. So there is a brief look at Navtex. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching in 73. If you want to have some more fun with that, uh, be sure to Google that uh, name and do some research. And uh, and uh, all right, I'll start this over.